mean so so much to me um, but today I'm just going to vlog my day with you guys because I just need to pick up the camera more and I haven't been feeling too good lately I've been very anxious anxiety has been really high and I just thought maybe today if I change it up a little bit get the camera out talk to you guys it might make me feel a bit better excuse my appearance I did dye my hair the other day and I've got it all stained over my head and my skin is just not loving me at the minute it's just not loving me but anyway I've been to Audi this morning I did it before the school run so I didn't want to do it after but I'll do it before I've got I had time to so I'm just going to show you guys what I got I've also got an Iceland's delivery coming soon so I'll share with you what I got there as well um, I got these dishes these oven dishes how nice are these you get two of them we need we really do we need we needed more oven dishes that's for sure they've got loads of good bits in Aldi's at the minute but I can only buy what I can carry back like underneath the buggy what can fit in the basket but how nice are they so I've got a smaller one and then there's a slightly bigger one and I think they were eight pound I think how much I think they were eight pound how nice are they I think they'd be perfect so I can wash them up and they will do the job obviously then I also got these Really like these really like these these are marble so i've got like a frying looking one the same sort of one with holes and then like a what do you call these i don't know the specific name but i just like them i've got marble and i'm all about marble so i think they were 2.99 each so i've got three of them if there was any more sort of looking ones i would have got them i would have got the whisk but they didn't have a whisk in the marble um, I also got a stainless steel lunchbox for Tom. I thought that would be good for his packed lunch and put stuff in there. And it's, it's a nice lunchbox, good quality one. Um, also, I picked up some of their popcorn. Ollie loves their popcorn. It's the coconut and vanilla, and then you've got the sweet and salty. And they are only 127 calories, which is good. And this girl needs to lose some weight. I need to sort my eating habits out because I eat so bad. I just love food and I just eat junk. Also picked up some of their extra sensitive baby wipes. They work really well for Grayson and wiping all of his hands and stuff like that. Then I also picked up these. These are the, uh, is it John West lunch to go? So I've got the French style tuna salad and then the Mediterranean, I can't say that word very well, um, tuna salad. So I thought they were really nice. They come with little forks. They look really good and they were £1.70 each. So I'm gonna give them a go. Um, only spotted this and it's a little bit like i don't know you just build it all and then the puppets like the little characters they all move and it's just like a little sea life bit it's really cute that's what comes in it and we're going to do that when he finishes school today give us something to do and that is how much was that that was 6.99 that looks really good we'll give it a go we'll see how it is it says four to six years as well and then I also got him this ocean animal scratch um, scratch book thing, so you scratch it off. These are really, actually really addictive because Ollie's had these before and I find myself doing them. They're really, really fun. And that was 2 99 And that is everything that I got out of Audi. How much did I spend? 36 pounds. And then I've got my, um, what is it? Ice's delivery coming soon. And that's not very healthy either because I've bought about 20, boxes of lollies which isn't good but I like to have them for Oliver I just like to make sure I have ice creams for him so I'm going to wash these up but how is everyone I hope you're all well Grayson is it yesterday no the day before he was so unsettled I think it's his teeth like he is teething bad and he was just really unsettled and he hardly slept and it was a pretty hard day for me I'll tell you that but we got there we got there he had two hours of sleep in total that whole day. So I was just like, what is going on? I'm gonna go and get him. Say hi! This little boy on the 13th of June also learnt to laugh and to grab his own feet. So he's found his feet and he learned to laugh. So hi guys! You beautiful boy. Did you want a cuddle? Did you? We are still co-sleeping, so he's still sleeping with me because he just hates the cop, don't you? You sleep with mama. I'm very careful with it. I, I don't, personally, I don't like doing it at all. But if it's the way Grayson's going to sleep, and me, that's what we're going to do. And we do it as safe as possible, don't we? Don't we? Hello, everyone. He's, he likes Coco Modell. 
It's on Netflix on the kids bit. And he absolutely loves that, don't you? So we put that on, didn't we? But he's learned to roll from his tummy to his back as well, haven't you? You have? You're getting a clever little boy, aren't you? I was just showing them what we got from Aldi's, Grayson. Yeah. Ollie's at school. And we're just at home, aren't we? Yeah. He takes a... You're alright? You okay? <laughs> Are you going to cry? Are you going to laugh? Hey, morning! Morning! Didn't know if you were going to cry or laugh then, boy. Um, yeah, but during the day, he normally takes a really, really good long nap. So, I can get cleaning done, I can clean his bottles and stuff like that, can't we? You want to see our garden at the minute, it's an absolute mess. I've ordered a skip for tomorrow, the two yard skip to take all the rubbish away because it's just so bad. Let's turn this telly down a second. I also moved the front room about, but that's not what he likes to watch, the Coco and the He absolutely loves it, but yeah, our garden is a mess. Are you ready for this? Do you remember what I said to you guys? I think I mentioned it. We've got loads of slabs, didn't we? And I was going to slab it all. I decided not to slab it all and just to put grass down. But you see in the corner there, all that rubbish? We've got a garden that's full of bloody dry mud. And we've got all that rubbish in the corner. So that's all going to go in the skip tomorrow. My mum's coming up tomorrow, so she said she'd help me put that in and sort that out. This is just an absolute mess. Uh, it's 27 degrees in England and it's bloody boiling, so I've got my fan going down there, haven't we? Yeah, it's very warm, isn't it? It's very warm. Yeah. Very warm. He loves his jumperoo, don't you? You love jumping in your jumperoo? Yes, you do. You love your jumperoo. He loves his Joey swing. Don't you? Iceland's coming soon. Yeah, lots of bad food. And mummy was just saying how she needs to eat healthy. He was honestly fighting that asleep so bad. I had to keep putting his dummy in like every five seconds because he's got to that stage, guys. Oh, oh, will it stay? He's got to that stage, right? where I'll pop his dummy in and he'll put his hand over his dummy and suck it and then pull it out and he'll cry and have to put it back in and he does it but he likes to cup his dummy as he sucks it and it always comes out anyway I've managed to clean the bottles, wash up hoover and wash my floors and I'm still waiting for this delivery I just want it to hurry up because then I can chill because I can't sort of chill we've got a ring doorbell now which is really handy as well so that'll alert me if someone's outside I don't know if I mentioned, but we rehomed Lola um, quite a while ago now, probably about a month ago we rehomed Lola. Um, my mum, my mum's next door neighbour had Lola off of us. Um, I knew it was the best thing for Lola. It got to the stage where we weren't walking her. It's cruel. She needs a walk. We weren't walking her. Um, I was fed up of the constant barking that she was doing even if nothing was at the door and waking up the baby and then I've got to start all over again by getting the baby to sleep just we just I just didn't have the time for anymore which is cruel because I love that dog to death and I don't like to get a dog for that many years and to rehome it but then it just come to me it I was thinking for a long time I know I need to rehome her because she deserves better I have so much love for her. Oliver loved her. Tom loved her. We all love her. She's a lovely little dog, but it just got to that stage where I knew she would be better off somewhere else. Like, you know, she's gone to my mum's next door neighbour and um, her little girl had her for her birthday. And it's just, it's just lovely because they wanted Lola so bad. They kept saying to me every time they saw me or my mum, like, oh, how's Lola? Or do you want to get rid of Lola yet? Yeah? Can we have Lola? Sort of dropping little hints for about a year at least. And then I thought, you know, it's got to that stage now where I do want to rehome Lola. She deserves better. She de deserves more time. And they've got all the time in the world to walk her. They're there all the time. They've just got the time. They've got another dog and stuff like that. So I just knew that doing that would be the best thing. And that it made the little girl's birthday amazing for her. And uh, well, obviously I still, I haven't seen her for a while since I they've had Lola, but I guess I will see her if I go up there, but I know she's in the best place. And I know my mum sees her walking down the road with the kids and sees her putting around in the garden. So 
I know she's just in a better place. I thought I'd just bring that up just in case you guys are like, where's Lola or why can't I hear Lola sort of thing? Because sometimes you hear her in the background of the videos. But it was the kindest thing for me to do was to rehome her and now she's getting all the attention, all the love, all the walks that she deserves. So, and I still get to see her if I, if I want to. And I always loved a dog, but I don't, I don't want any more animals. I can't do with the hair and just, just the upkeep of them. They're so, they're just, they're like having another child. They're very, you know, you have to, put a lot of time and effort into a dog and I didn't have it, didn't have it in me. So I thought I would just address that. I love her to death, but she's so much better off now. So, so much better off. But yeah, no, last week I was suffering really bad from, really bad from tiredness. I was exhausted where I said, like when the baby was asleep, I was asleep. I'd say to Tommy, you need to watch him while I sleep. But I was falling asleep in the car. I was just so, exhausted and I was like this has got to be my thyroid like my thyroid levels are not right like there's got to be something that's up with my thyroid or maybe my medication needs up in or it needs dropping slightly I don't really know um so I booked a blood test and the results came back absolutely fine so my thyroid levels are, are where they should be I was like why the hell am I feeling like this like, I've never felt that exhausted like even when I had when Grayson was a newborn like I wasn't nowhere near that tired at all and you know, it can't be because of my kids because they sleep well and I get plenty of sleep. So I was just like, what's going on? Um, I did a pregnancy test. Obviously, I'm not pregnant. I'm on contraception. But a part of me thinks that it's my anxiety that's exhausting me and just draining me emotionally, physically, mentally. I think it's my anxiety. And also, also I think it could be the depot shot that I have, the contraception injection. Um, like the symptoms for that are like tiredness, achiness, belly ache, which I was having really tender boobs, really spotty, loss of hair, feeling really sleepy, feeling weak, muscles hurting, which I had all of these. All of these are also like thyroid problems and anxiety. Like they're all the same, so same sim uh, similar symptoms and side effects. So I was just like, what's going on? And because I have health anxiety, I go into overdrive. I'm like, what's wrong with me? What's happening to me? And that's what sets my anxiety off. If I don't feel right, I then get really bad anxiety and I go into a panic attack. And because I started feeling really, really tired and like not myself and I felt really sick as well. Honestly, I felt like I was pregnant. Um, so I took a test and I wasn't pregnant, thankfully. Um, it wasn't the thyroid, so it's either the depot shot or it's my anxiety, but my anxiety has been really high. It gets worse in the summer. I don't know why that happens, but my anxiety gets a lot, lot worse in the summer. I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but anxiety has just been so high right now and I've just not felt very good. Like yesterday, Tom had to go and pick Ollie up from school because we normally do that together. Um, he'll drive me up there and then I'll jump, jump out and go and get Ollie. But I just couldn't do it yesterday. I felt so dizzy, so sick. I just, I physically couldn't do it. I was like, can you go and get him? Like, I need to stay here. I just don't feel well at all. Um, and it's awful. Anxiety has been really high. Um, so I'm definitely going to speak to my doctor and see if I can get some counselling or just something because I need that support and help a lot. Um, but I'm not, it's just, I don't know how to say it. I've, I haven't got the normal anxious anxiety, like a fear of, I don't know, like fear of going out or something. I don't really know. I haven't got the normal, I've got the health anxiety side. So if I feel unwell, if I get a headache, I feel sick or I just feel anything in my body that's it i go into overdrive it's absolutely awful to live with it's the bane of my absolute life and i hate it and i have anxiety every single day of my life and it's stressful but we move i am on antidepressants but i think i probably need something for my anxiety because it is bad but i wanted to mention these rings i was scrolling through tiktok the other day and they came across their anti-anxiety rings and they spin they look like this they're really cute, got little moon and stars, and they they spin. So when you feel a bit anxious, or like me, like anxiety, or we're gonna go into a panic attack, you just sit there and you just listen to it, and you just spin it. I've got some more upstairs as well, and then I've got this little bead one, and you can just, oh, it's not gonna, you can just move the beads down, and then push the beads back up, like they all move. So I've got them to help me. And then I also got the Rescue Remedy spray that I spray on my tongue. And then I also got this like stress relief roll on ball. 
it's for like feeling overwhelmed which is me um anxious stressed anxiety this is seven years and upwards and it smells really nice and you just roll it onto your wrists it's this little thing here it smells really good you just roll it onto your wrists onto your neck and onto your temples and it's supposed to help so i'll literally buy anything that will help anything i will try just to help this anxiety so i've got them in the rings driving lessons and before every lesson i'm literally shitting the brick i'm so anxious i don't know why because then as soon as i get in the car and start driving i'm absolutely fine my anxiety is gone like i feel good i've got good energy i'm being positive i'm like yes you can do this like let's just hurry up and get on the road but that's very overwhelming i get very scared before every lesson which i hate um i have one every saturday but this saturday i don't have one due to her being off um so i've got one the Saturday after, but I do about two hours every Tuesday, two hours every Saturday, and yeah, you know, I get anxious before then. But I know I need to drive for my kids. Like, I know I need to drive, but it does cause me anxiety. The roads scare me. There's just it's so dangerous on the road. So, but I know I need to pass. But that just makes me really anxious as well. I know that's normal. I'm probably going to be absolutely terrible on my tests. Like, I'm going to be so nervous on my test date ridiculous i'm just hoping it doesn't take me too long to get to my test and just get on the road and get it done with i think the reason yeah i wish i did it before i had kids but i think the reason i've left it so long is because of my anxiety my anxiety controls everything my anxiety is the reason i don't really have friends because i don't want to leave my home the anxiety has stopped me from driving because i'm scared and it stopped me from doing so many things and i just hate the fact it does and i am trying to push myself to do more things and at the end of doing it, I feel good. I feel really positive and happy and really actually quite proud of myself. And then like the build up before though, it's just awful. I just feel like I'm gonna collapse. It's really bad. But then after I've done it, I feel great. I just, I just get so overwhelmed. It's so annoying. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to speak a little bit about that because you know, social media looks all positive and happy, but it's not, it's not behind closed doors. I'm really struggling with my mental health at the minute really struggling but i want to come on here and speak i don't want to be you know depressing i want to come on here and speak and let you guys know and i want you to know that if you're feeling the same way trust me you're not on your own not on your own at all i like it when people can be like you know like i'm feeling the same way and i can relate like you're okay you'll get out of this rut it's just i don't know having people there to talk you know about it just really helps so that's why i want to do some counseling if i can um they like fidget spinners <laughs> they remind me of fidget spinners but anyway i'm gonna sit and wait for this ison's delivery and then i can show you guys what i've got right guys my ison's delivery has just turned up and i've back, unbagged it all to show you guys what i've got this isn't healthy but this is just what i picked up yesterday well i put in my basket and i bought so i've got some smiley faces some clippos and i also wanted to try this slimming world um chicken carbonara absolutely massive but yeah i wanted to just give it a go also got the smoked barbecue fries um these fries are the best the mccain ones these are the best chips you'll ever get these chunky ones they're just so nice also got sweet potato fries also i wanted to try these street fries these are cheese and bacon and then you've got the barbecue beef they look really good so i wanted to try them where i got the i did not pick these up but i had to change on my order some of my stuff because I couldn't get some of the stuff because it was sold out. Uh, fruit salad, uh, Parma violets. Oliver loves these. He also loves these wafer sandwiches, nugget lollies. If you haven't tried these, I really recommend these. They're really good. The milk bottles are good. Uh, twisters. These are the mini ones. Also had to try some of them even though I need to eat healthy, but they just sound so good. Some, uh, abs I absolutely hate these, but Tom and Oliver love them. Soleros, and then these sounded really good, the bubble gum. And then I also got a pack of water as well. Iceland's. Um, we went to Asda not too long ago, so I, I got some fruit, veg. Uh, we also now go to the butchers instead of getting meat from the butchers now, which is just, it tastes so much better, it's so much better for you. Then, like, just the shop stuff, it's just, it's more expensive, but it's so much better. I also had one of these for lunch. It was really good, by the way, guys. Really nice.
Um, so that's a thumbs up from me. But I'm now going to pack all of this away. Thank you.